says that place, I'm almost there, that place had become too small for them. Egypt becomes like a woman in their trimester. It becomes fussy. Uh, Egypt becomes cranky at the fact that Israel is growing and expanding in its wombs. God, help me here. There's some things out in the world. There's some things that men you used to be attached to. There's some things that God is calling you to take dominion of. There's some things that he's calling you to walk into that territory that God first before he moves you there has to cause you to be irritable with where you are because until you become tired of where you are you can't go to where God's trying to get you to you got to get tired of the same conversations you got to get tired of hanging around the same folks all the time talking about the same thing. Well, you know, you ain't got no money. I ain't got no money either. Well, child, you know, they, they, you got to get tired of the gossip. Come on here, somebody. God's about to make your spirit irritated with the same old crew, with the same old garbage. Why? Because he's trying to thrust you out to another place. irritable when God begins to move them in any place, watch that you outgrow that does not want to let you go that place becomes slavery so whereas before uh, Israel thought it was okay now Pharaoh begins to become a taskmaster because the place that they once was comfortable in, they begin to outgrow it, but it does not want to let them go so there's some things that don't want to let you go, but tonight you are outgrowing those things. God help me here. You are expanding. You're not trying to be all sadity and think you're better than nobody else, but people just have to understand that I've been growing lately. And when I begin to grow, I begin to outgrow the space that I'm God begins to speak to a man. Be seated. Watch this. He begins to speak to a man by the name of Moses. And God begins to anoint Moses and speak to him in order to bring these people free and to let them out of this environment. He said, when you get out of this, I'm going to thrust you out all together. That means you and your family, Moses, everything that you guys own is about to be thrust out all together together when God gets ready my goodness people may have forgotten about you but God never forgets about you are you hearing me here somebody they may forget your name they may forget what you did for them but God never forgets what you have done he has a plan and a purpose for your life and he's gonna stick to the plan and the purpose for your life God got ready to do something with Joseph. God sent two things. He sent a butler and a baker. A baker is one that God sends in your life that pulls all the ingredients together. There's some of you that have the right stuff, but you don't know how to pull it together. But God's about to send a baker in your life that's about to pull everything together. God, I got a book idea, but I don't know how to put it together. God, I want to start a company, but I don't know how to put it together. God, oh, okay, okay. I, I, I just need my 10 people that I'm talking to. God, I, 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 I. I, I want to move over here, but I don't know the first thing about getting my own mortgage or how about buying a house. God said he's about to release a baker in your life. And this year, you're not going to end like you started. You're going to end this year strong and you're going to end this year wealthy. I don't care what everybody else is doing. He said, you got to decree every morning you get up. I'm going to end this year strong and I'm going to end this year wealthy. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm going to end this year strong and I'm going to end this share wealthy God I wish I had some help in here today I'm almost done. Ten minutes. I'm almost done. Watch this. He said uh, he sent the baker into his life, and then the second one that he sent, he sent a butler into his life. A butler is one that God sends to open doors for you. When you don't have the strength to open it your own self, God's about to release a butler's anointing in your life. Doors that you've been trying to knock down for five years, for ten years. God said, I'm about to kick those doors open and people are going to be baffled at the favor that I'm about to release on your life. You are about to take dominion. 
feel the anointing. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Watch this. He's about to send it. He's about to send the anointing that's going to what? Open doors for you. Doors that you don't have the connections to open. Doors that you don't have the strength to open. Doors that you don't have the degree to open. Doors that you don't have the income to open. Doors that you don't have the keys to open. But God's about to bust open some doors that's about to blow your mind. God said, I'm going to send a butler your way that's going to open the door. Watch this. God said this. God began to move Joseph, I'm almost there, into this place. Watch this. Of, of being the seed that would bring great birth in the belly of Egypt. He placed them there and his brothers pastor became jealous of his anointing. They became upset because his father made him a coat of many colors. I want you to hear this. They saw the coat but they didn't understand what the coat meant because the Bible says, watch this, God help me Holy Ghost here today, that when he made him the coat of many colors, the brothers saw it, they became intimidated, they became jealous because they understood what a coat meant back in those days. It was not about keeping you warm. When a father made a son a coat, what he was doing was ranking him among his brothers. So when he gave him the coat of many colors, he was actually letting his brothers know the rank that Joseph operated in and they became jealous and intimidated at the ranking of Joseph. Joseph did not start dreaming until he was first ranked by his father. See, watch this. Some of y'all, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to keep it still. I'm trying to keep it still. See, some of y'all want to be a wonder overnight. You want to have, oh, come on. See, the, 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 the day that I came up in, when I, when, when I grew up in ministry, you know, my, 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 my grandfather did not just be a mic. There, 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 there were years and seasons when he had me vacuuming the church. There, 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 there were years and seasons he had me on the phone all night long on the prayer line. And I would say, why do I have to be on a prayer line? I'm a preacher. He said, get your tail on that prayer line and you answer those prayer calls. And my shift was from 12 midnight to 7 in the morning with a crazy the crazy folks needed some help around that time. And then, and then after I finished that, then he said, okay, I want you to go work in our bookstore. I said, but we only have about 10 people coming a day. Why do I have to stay in the book? Because what? He, I, I, he was ranking me. God help me here, somebody. This new day of ranking, you get saved today and you want to be a wonder tomorrow, but you got to work your way through the ranks. And only a true spiritual father can rank you. That means, watch this, I don't care how many prophecies you get. Until you are ranked by your father, you must stay still. Because if you move without being ranked, you move uncovered. Oh, God, I don't know why I'm teaching this here today. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm going to change my message right now. I'm going to change it. Sit down, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. This is, this, this, all right, give, give, give me 15 minutes. Watch this. If, if, come on, sit down. You're getting excited when you stand up. Sit down. If, 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 when, when you, when you are ranked by your father, your spiritual father, your leader, when they rank you, when you go into the spiritual realm, you are covered. And so watch this. When, 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 because I am subject to my leadership. I don't have to pray and get to what took him 40 years to do. When I travel in the spirit, I travel with a 40-year-old mantle. God, help me hear somebody. That gives me St. Patrick's from dominion to dominion, from dimension to dimension, from realm to realm. Why? Because I am subject under a covering that has ranked me. 
So I don't have no people come, no prophet, you got to, I don't carry business cards. I don't carry ministry cards. I don't carry none of that stuff because what? Because I understand that right now in this season, God has me being still at the man at God's feet, uh, uh, get, get, getting more and gleaming. Why? Because I understand servitude. And that word has left the church servitude. Nobody wants to serve. Everybody wants to be served, but nobody wants to serve. If God wants you to clean the toilet, you want to be the most anointed toilet cleaner in all. That means, watch this, when you finish clean, if that's where the man of God places you, that means that when he walks in and sees that toilet, it's going to look like God cleaned that toilet. Why? Because you are operating in purpose. And so watch the church, the church is all out of place because, because watch this, we, we, we want to be where we can be seen and we want to be where we can be recognized and all your stuff is waiting in the second stall of the ladies or the men's room. Your new house, your keys are by the broom. Come on here somebody. It's not in the pulpit, it's not, <laughs> it's not in the glamour, but and you wonder why you're doing all this and things are not happening because God's saying your anointing may not be in the front, your anointing may be in the parking lot. Why, why, why ain't getting no amen? Why just, okay, 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 watch this. So, so I'm almost done, I'm almost done. When, when, when you are, so, 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 so when you are ranked in the spirit, Joseph was ranked by his father. And only a father in the spirit has the ability to rank. When his brothers saw his ranking, that's when they became intimidated. His gift did not activate until he was ranked. Now there was an issue. Because his brothers were gifted too. I don't have time to go into the story. Uh, his brothers were gifted too because when Joseph dreamed, we always say after we read that passage of scripture, he had a dream and sometimes you got to keep the dreams to yourself. Sometimes you can't, I mean, and I'm not disagreeing. There are times where you can't go running your mouth off and telling everybody what God showed you. But Joseph did not tell the dream because, watch this, he did not tell the dream because he was bragging. He was telling the dream because he did not have the gift of interpretation. So he had the ability to dream, but he didn't have the ability to interpret. The minute he told his brothers to dream, they immediately began to interpret. So sometimes you got to expose your dreams to people, God help me hear somebody, who may mean you no good, but yet they have the ability to interpret and get you to your next location. God, y'all not hear me here today. Now, wait, 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 when, 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 when they dumped him in this pit, pastor, they dumped him in the pit, they thought that they had did him an injustice. They thought they had messed up his ranking. But what you don't understand is that the environment always adjusts to the rank. Okay, when, 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 when President Obama comes to Manhattan. I was, I was in the city uh, a couple of weeks ago when, when, when he was here at the UN and, and, and I, I was in Midtown. I, I, I was taking a class and, 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 and uh, 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 Obama was in town and, and when he, his convoy it was coming down 42nd Street around 5th Avenue, they locked down Manhattan. Now this is, this is Manhattan, New York City. They locked it down. When he's coming by, you can't move, you can't go into the street, you can't drive, you can't do nothing. Why? Because the environment adjusts to his rank. That means God can drop you in the middle of a desert. God can drop you in the most desert place. And the ranking of your spirit will increase and change the environment. God, I wish I had some help here today. Slap somebody high five and say, I travel in my rank. Tell them, I travel in my rank. You think it's my collar. You think it's my suit. You think it's the way I brush my hair. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It's my rank. Can I have 
five more minutes, and we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Mama, we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Don't tell me to take out. Don't, don't, don't tell me that, please. Watch this. Watch this. Y'all. So watch this. They, they, there was a problem that they had with Joseph because no matter where Joseph went, his rank followed him. So everywhere he went, whether he was in prison, it readjusted. Whether he was at Potiphar's house, it readjusted. Your rank changes the atmosphere. God help me hear somebody. That's why I don't have to bring a praise section. When I walk into somewhere, I am ranked a praiser. God help me here. And if I'm the only praiser in my section, if I'm the only one that's praising God, I got enough power in my belly to provoke a praise out of you. My God, do we have any praises in the house that got enough power to provoke a praise? Okay, okay, okay. Sit down, sit down. We, we gotta finish. We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish. I'm gonna close with this. Hey! Sanda lebe ki sanda, rabaka sanda. The devil is a fool for messing with you. The devil is a fool for me. You gonna pull rank when you find out who you are and whose you are. It's time to pull rank. Yeah. Tell somebody my environment's about to line up. Tell somebody my environment's about to line up. That means money's about to find me. Increase about to find me. Overflow's about to find me. Healing's about to find me. My rank is about to adjust the atmosphere. Okay, sit down. I'm almost there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. I'm almost there. 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 Shatabaka, shikata baba bahaya. Shana la baba baba shikata bahaya. Ho baba bashana. See, watch this. If the enemy can keep you ignorant of who you are, he don't want you to know your rank. He doesn't want you to know who you are in the kingdom. But if you can just realize that you have power and authority. Watch us in a dimensional place. You live in a place that although other people can't see it, you know it in your inner man. Joseph was so powerful when he got ranked that no matter where Joseph went, because he was a dominionaire and had dominion, everything that was in his environment had to become subject to him. How can you be in prison and yet prosper? The Bible says he was in prison, but yet he prospered. How, how are you in prison and you prosper? Because those bars don't mean nothing. It got to the point where the jailer gave him the keys to manage the jail. Now watch this. You got to be anointed and understand seasons. To know because you have the key to get out, it ain't time to get out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I just okay, okay, why okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, you may be able to go out and do better. Yeah, you may, but it ain't your season. And because you may be qualified, doesn't mean it's your time. How, how does how does how does Joseph keep the keys and manage the jail? and not leave because he understands time and seasons. God, I wish I had some help here today. He understands it may be his time, but it's not his turn. He understands that God was not finished with him yet where he was. Because watch this, although he had probably rather not been in jail and been home with his father, he was closer to his purpose in jail than he was at home. Because when the king needed a solution, he was close enough to the king's reach to pull him out of jail. So in jail, he was closer to his purpose. God, help me here today. He had the key to exit, but he understood time and seasons. And you got to understand that there's seasons where God wants you to be still. There's seasons when you got to be quiet. 
There's seasons when you gotta be alone. Yeah, Sister Susie wants to give you a ride, but God got you taking the bus this season. He may got you walking this season. Why? Wow, you gotta understand seasons and times. So watch this, I'm gonna close with this. He says, and this is real, my last close, seriously, this is it. He said, when you are ranked, I don't have time to go deeper to it, when you get, when you are ranked, watch this, the only thing with being ranked in the kingdom, when your spiritual father ranks you and you are ranked in the kingdom, your warfare has to match the level of your rank. <laughs> And a hush came over the crowd. Watch it, because we all want to be ranked. But watch this, you got to understand that the president of the United States gets threats from people who match his rank. God, help me here. Sometimes the warfare that you get seems bigger than you are, and you say, why is all this? Because they don't see you, they see your ranking. God, I wish I had some help. <laughs> See, the enemy wants to keep people around you to keep you blind to who you are in God. But the enemy knows what dimension you travel in. And he sees your ranking. Watch this. That's why when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he had to be challenged by a lion. Because a lion was the highest rank animal in the lion in the animal kingdom. 